Okay, men, we're continuing, and we're going to finish up on speaking. And, and I think Jesus being our example, that he spoke the truth. He spoke with authority. And I believe as men, if we're going to be conformed to his image, we almost got to, we, we got to find something on the inside of us. And men, there's something on the inside of you. There's an authority. There's, there's an honor. There's a truth on the inside of you. You've got to find it, and you've got to speak it, and you've got to open up your mouth. And so we've been talking about men speak truth, they speak with authority, and I'm going to say something else, and, and I'm going to close up this week. Men, men, we speak truth, and if you're going to speak truth, that means you're not going to speak lies. And I might even say this, we're, we're, going, to, we're going to watch the words that come out of our mouth. Men, if you want to be listened to, I, I'm personally of the opinion you don't have to use curse words. It's amazing how, how I listen to people curse and I listen to men talk and I sit and I think, you don't have any more vocabulary than that. And then if we're going to be men that our words are going to have authority and our words are going to speak truth, we also have to look at some of the kind of things that, that we don't let come out of our mouths, that, that, that limit our authority or cause our authority to decrease, or words that come out of our mouth that, that aren't truth. So men, part of the thing is we need to speak with authority. Part of the thing is we need to speak truth. But another thing I'll challenge you, and I believe Jesus, that Jesus did not let words come out of his mouth that were crude, that were vulgar. And we can find in the New Testament, the Bible says, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but only that which is good to the use of edifying, that it might minister grace to the hearer. Jesus spoke truth, but he wasn't vulgar. Jesus spoke truth, and he wasn't coarse. And the Bible talks about coarse jesting. We have to watch the words that come out of our mouth, because your words they paint a picture of your manhood. And if your words have grace and truth and authority with them, they paint a picture of that's the type of man you are. But if you let wrong words come out of your mouth and you let vulgar jokes and, and, and little, little tidbits that you let come out of your mouth that shouldn't be there, that also paints a picture of your manhood. And I believe Jesus painted a picture of manhood that was holy, that was pure, and that was clean and was seen in the words of his mouth. What's your picture look like?